Well, tonight, an apology from a high-ranking member of the Catholic Church here in our valley. Our local bishop sending out a two-page letter calling abuses against children by priests horrific. Good evening, everybody. I'm Reed Cowan. And I'm Latoya Silman in for Jim Snyder. This on the heels of an interview that Bishop George Leo Thomas did with News 3 just last week, addressing a scathing grand jury report out of Pennsylvania. It's our top story tonight in News 3's Denise Roche is live at the Diocese of Las Vegas. And Denise, the bishop says there must be accountability. Now, Latoya, accountability around the world and right here in our own community. The bishop says there will be zero tolerance for predators here in the Diocese of Las Vegas. And on Sunday, his letter was posted online. The letter is found on the Diocese of Las Vegas website, addressed to Friends in Christ, offering a humble apology for abuses within the Catholic Church. Bishop George Leo Thomas proposing the church publish the names of priests who have had credible complaints of sexual abuse against minors. Words are not enough. Promises have been made in the past. It's not enough. People want to see evidence of change. Where are the people in the pews? Why aren't they outraged? Esther Miller Hatfield is a volunteer with SNAP, that's Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, and she wants predators within the church prosecuted. We want the statutes of limitation in all countries, all counties, all states, all municipalities, all provinces removed. The discussion comes as the state of Pennsylvania releases a grand jury report detailing accounts of sexual abuse involving 300 priests and over 1,000 victims in that state alone. Abuse, the report concludes, that was concealed by church authorities. Emma Francis Bloomfield is an associate professor at UNLV who studies religion and creationism. Communication is extremely important. Who says the bishop's letter is a symbolic first step. Well, I think from the church, even a letter like this is pretty radical because it's recognizing a huge problem um, within the church and sort of, and putting words to a problem that some people want to sweep under a rug. And Bloomfield adds that this acknowledgement by the church might even bring some people back into the fold if they believe that real action is going to take place. Now, if you'd like to read the bishop's full letter, we have it on our website. Just go to news3lv.com. Reporting live, I'm Denise Roche for News 3. Reed, let's go back to you in the studio. All right, Denise, thank you.